pack together. I wish you could see under this mask because I am smiling from ear to ear. Uh, it's been two years. It's been a crazy two years. Um, if who would have known that singing would suddenly become one of the most dangerous things you could do? <laughs> but it did. And um, not only that, but you know, learning and educating kind of could go on remotely, but not singing. And so every single day that I am up in front of the classroom, in front of all of these beautiful students, it is like heaven on earth for me. And you can ask my husband, he's sitting right there, he asks me every day, how was work today? And I say, heaven on earth. Um, you know, when we were learning, or I was teaching behind the computer screen, there was no harmony. There was no connection. There was nobody singing with you. And I can sense that the students feel the same way that I do. We will never take for granted being in a room together making music. Never. So we are beyond thrilled to be here today. So, yay. Um, <laughs> Yeah. 
Seeds will burn.
new program, but a special treat, uh, Menso Forte, our a cappella group, student run, will come up to sing a song for you. Now, while they are coming up onto the stage, uh, I'm going to tell you a little something. First of all, Menso Forte has two leaders. They are seniors. They are Gabe Capacado and Dan Celine. And they run the rehearsals 100%. I'm in the room most of the time, some of the time, um, but they, it's, all, it's all they're doing. And I have to say I'm so impressed with the job that they do. They, um, they are kind, they are considerate, they are encouraging, and they just create such a lovely atmosphere in the room. They have fun. They have fun together. Um, I also want to take a moment to talk about Dan Salim a little bit more because this year, Dan was Hen Hud's student representative at Nisma Allstate. Um, it was a strange year for Nisma, like everything else. Um, usually, there are approximately 400, 450 uh, singers, the top singers from New York State, who attend this event, and, they, and there's two choirs, a mixed choir and a treble voice choir, and, um, and they go up to Rochester. Dan and I took the train up. Um, we were there for four days, and they work under renowned conductors. Because of COVID, uh, they only invited 160 students. So 160 students from New York State, 20 base twos. So Dan was one of 20 in the whole state. That got to be really And I want to also recognize another student who I believe if it was a regular year, and they did have the 400, 450 students. Uh, we did have one student who made it as an alternate, but unfortunately didn't get to go. But I want to recognize her as well, and that's Sabrina Antman. <laughs> and now I'm going to turn it over to Dave and Dan. So I'm Gabriel Capricado. I'm Dan Salim. We're the presidents, and we know it's been a tough two years for everyone. We just hope our music can bring a little love into your nights tonight. Dave just put it perfectly, and I just want to say that these guys have worked so, so incredibly hard, and I'm proud of each and every one of them, and I hope that you can enjoy a little bit of what I call Menso Forte. <laughs>
he's been. I'm hopeless now. And if I could turn back the clock, I'd make sure the light of feet in the dark. I spend every hour of every day keeping you safe.
welcome to the stage, Harmonizers. While they are walking onto the stage, I want to explain a little bit about the cards that you do see in their hands. This first song that they are going to sing for you, which is called Secret for the Mad, was a song written by a British songwriter named Dodie. And Dodie wrote this song for a friend of hers um, who was going through a really rough time. Um, the song is about struggling with anxiety and depression and how sometimes just everyday stereotypical things can help you get through to the next day. In this song, Dodie reassures the listeners that soon there will be a day when you say you're okay and mean it. So what we did was we um, as a class, talked about um, things that weigh heavily on us. And I asked the singers to write down one word that is like a worry that they have or something that they care about. And then to write a second word that um, would describe how they make it better for themselves, how something that brings them joy or that heals them. Um, I do want you to know that the singers are not holding their own words, but they are holding the words of someone in their choir. Enjoy. Thank you. 